Attack on Mika! Alright! Those of you who didn't finish your essay, make sure to have it done by tomorrow. This is your chance to show your gratitude. My name is Hirito Uesugi. I'm a fifth grader. I live with my mom who works as a janitor. I'm done! Our parents are coming to observe us at school tomorrow, and each of us are going to present our essays. The topic of the essay was showing appreciation for hardworking parents. Ever since my dad got sick and passed away, my mom has been working hard to raise me. I'm a little bit embarrassed to read this out loud in front of everyone, but I hope she likes what I wrote. As I was thinking this... Wow! Uesuki comes down with his essay! satomi san Let me read it! Hey! No way! Your mom works as a janitor? That's hilarious! You know the Shingeki Corporation that my daddy works at? There's a janitor named Uesugi! I think that might be your mom! What? This was the class princess. Momo Saotome. Her father was a board member at the company he worked at, and she would look down on poor people. My mommy always tells me that janitors don't get paid very well, so I shouldn't ever work as one. Hmm? So your family's poor. She spoke loudly so that everyone around us could hear. Everyone was also making snide remarks about my mom. I'm so glad my family isn't poor. Me too. My mommy's a lawyer. But if she was a janitor, I would have been too embarrassed to write an essay about her work. What? Oh, Sugi kun your clothes also look cheap and old. Do you think the god of poverty is haunting you? Don't get close to me. I don't want to be poor like you. That's so mean. My mom bought me this shirt. I told you, don't get close to me. Your germs are gonna get on me! Get him away from me, guys! Move, Hirito! Don't get close to Momo-chan! If you try to get close to me again, I'm going to punish you! Punish me? That's how I became the odd one out in this class. <sighs> so, I have poor people germs? Oh, Hirito, why do you look so sad? Huh? When I looked up, my teacher, Mr. Sasaki, was looking at me worriedly. Did you finish the essay that you're presenting tomorrow? Uh, um... Yeah, yeah. Your mom works as a janitor, right? I'm sure she'll be happy to hear what you've written. Do you really think she'll be happy? Huh? Everyone else's parents work as lawyers or as board members at some big companies. It's a completely different world from ours. Did your classmates say anything to you? N no, it's not that. They just... I, I started to feel embarrassed about it. The teacher looked at me seriously. Listen, there is no job in this world that you're allowed to make fun of. Whether you're a janitor, the president, or even a teacher, each job is important for society to function. So you're supposed to be proud of her. Your mom is doing very important work. Mr. Sasaki's advice was convincing and warmed my heart. <laughs> it's already late. I still have work to do. Make sure to get home before it gets too late. Uh, okay. Goodbye! My chest felt lighter after I talked to my teacher, but... Tomei-san! Hmm... It's not around here... It has to be! I walked around here earlier! Momo-rin? <laughs> no, that's always with me! It's a part of who I am! A part of you? I... I don't see it anywhere! I'm going to look inside the classrooms! Follow me! Huh? Is that... Hey, wait a second! Tome san this is Momo Rin, right? It was on the floor near the water fountains, look! I tried to give Tome san her doll. Despite what she said to me earlier, 
I felt bad that you lost your favorite doll. However... What? Look how dirty she became because he touched her! Omarin likes to be surrounded by expensive and pretty things! I don't live a poor life like you! As she said that, she grabbed the doll in my hand and threw it on the ground. D dirty You're saying my mom and I are dirty and poor? Who else am I talking about? I told you earlier, right? There's gonna be a punishment if you get within five meters of me! But I... I was just trying to give you your doll! Shut up! Stop trying to make excuses! What? What are you doing? Stop it! No! Huh? I read your essay earlier and it was terrible. As your punishment, write your essay exactly how I tell you by tomorrow. If you don't do what I say, I'm gonna ask my daddy to fire your mom from her job! I'm home. Sorry I'm late again, Hiroto. I'll make dinner quickly. Well, well, welcome home. Oh, oh, okay. Tomorrow's your school's observation day. I can't wait to see how my son has grown up. Mom's so excited. Pain me so much to see my mom excited about tomorrow. But I needed to tell her. Hey, Mom? Yeah? What's up? Can you not come tomorrow? Huh? You know, I, I feel shy knowing you were watching me. That I wouldn't be able to pay attention to the lesson. What are you saying? Last year you were so excited to raise your hand to answer the teacher's questions. J just don't come, okay? What's wrong? I'm, I'm embarrassed! All the other moms are dressed nicely, but you come in plain house clothes. You can't buy pretty clothes because you work as a janitor and we're poor, right? That's why everyone makes fun of us! Hiroto... My mom loves garbage, and as her son, I also love playing on the dirty floor. We're a family that loves trash. I'm sorry, Mom. I couldn't say anything back to her because I'm weak. Your mom is doing very important work. I couldn't stop thinking about my teacher's words. I hated how weak I was. The next day, our parent-student observation day began. My daddy's an elite worker at the Shingeki Corporation. During the Golden Week vacation, our family went to Africa to ride elephants. I'm so blessed to have been born into a wealthy family. That was so wonderful. You're so cute, Momo-chan. I didn't see my mom anywhere, and while I was relieved, I... I also felt my heart sting a little. It was finally my turn to present. I have to read this if I don't, my mom's going to get fired from her job. It was at that moment that the classroom door opened and my mom walked in. M mom Why did you have to come, huh? I, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw my mom. She didn't look like her usual self. Whose mother is that? She's beautiful and has a good style, too. All the other moms were looking at her and complimenting her. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. Mom bought new clothes and dressed up. For me. We didn't have money, but she didn't want me to feel embarrassed. Usagi-kun, will you please read your essay already? Uh. Hiroto. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I forgot to write my essay. What? There's no way. I know what you wrote down. You and your mom love garbage, right? I wrote that because you told me threatened me. What? My God! There's no way my sweet Momo Chan would say such a thing. Yeah. If that's the case, Altome-san, how do you know what Hirito wrote about his essay? Huh? Um, that's because he let me read it yesterday. Hmm, that's weird. There wasn't anything like that in his essay when I read it. Huh? As he said that, Mr. Sasaki pulled out my torn-up essay from his desk.
Hirito, let your mom hear your essay. Each piece of my torn up essay was put together neatly as if it was never torn apart in the first place. I found out that my teacher had found the torn up pieces and put them back together. Mr. Sasaki, thank you. My Mom by Hirito Uesugi, fifth grader in my class number three. My mom works as a janitor. She works all day and late into the night every day. But when she comes home, she makes me dinner without complaining or showing that she's exhausted. I want to ask my mom if she's tired and if she thinks that she's working too much. That's when she told me. When I clean, people always thank me. They tell me that they can use rooms without being uncomfortable because they know that I clean them thoroughly. When I heard that, I felt like every bad thought I had was washed away. And I started to feel glad that I was doing a job that had an important purpose. And when I come home and get to see you, it makes me even happier. We might argue sometimes, but I'm so proud to call you my mom. Thanks for everything, Mom. I asked everyone to write essays about their parents, not just to express gratitude, but so that your classmates can know what kind of jobs that your moms and dads do. I didn't want you guys to hold on to stereotypes about any jobs. I was once also bullied by my classmates about my parents' job. It was hard. That's why I don't want you guys to feel that way or be the ones to hurt someone's feelings. To Satome-san and the people that made fun of Hirito. I don't want you guys to ever do that again. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Usugi-kun, I'm sorry. You guys? After hearing Mr. Sasaki's story, Satome-san and my classmates started apologizing to me. But... Uh, what do you mean by stereotype? We're just telling the truth. Satome san's mother started causing trouble. Sugi kun's mom! Don't you just work as a janitor in the company my husband works in, right? Huh? We can easily find five million replacements for janitors, you know. My husband is a board member, so he can easily fire you. He'll make you pay for embarrassing my adorable daughter. Stop it already. Satome san don't you see how your bad behavior is going to affect your daughter? Education isn't just about learning in the classroom. Children learn what's right and wrong by watching the adults around them. You shouldn't be able to call yourself a mother if you're teaching your child that this kind of bullying is okay. Please reflect upon your actions for Momo-chan, if not for you. Ugh. Mr. Sasaki is right. Besides, don't be scared about being fired. If that happens, please come work at my husband's company. Apparently, they need more janitors. If she continues to bother you, I can introduce you to a good lawyer at my law firm. Everyone, thank you so much. I almost teared up seeing all the lovely words that my mom received. Okay, Hirato. Mom's gonna leave now. Okay, have a good day at work. In the end, my mom didn't get fired. And she continued to work happily at her usual job. Her boss has seen how hard she worked and increased her salary. So she started to buy me lots of clothes. Usuki kun I'm sorry about what I said before. And thank you for finding Momonin. Ten years later? Okay. I became a teacher. Each job was important for society to function. Just like how Mr. Sasaki's words gave me strength that day, I wanted to be the type of adult to give strength to young students as well. I'm Ichi. I'm a senior at a national university. Our family's not that well off, but I studied hard and was eventually accepted into this university. 
We're already in the job hunting season. Hey, Ichi. Hey, Julie. How are you? Good. Studying your free time? What a hard worker. Top of your class, too. So proud of you. <laughs> Thanks. Julie is currently my girlfriend. We've been dating for a year now. She's very attractive and goes out of her way to take care of me. And once we graduate, we're seriously considering getting married. Uh, I have a job interview tomorrow. How about you, Ichi? Any luck? You should be getting some kind of official response about now, right? I'm really happy right now, but there is something I have to tell her. Hey, Julie, can I talk to you for a second? What is it? Did you get accepted into a major company or something? I decided not to join any company. I'm gonna take over the family business. I think I mentioned it to her before, but our family runs a small business that makes traditional crafts locally. But business hasn't been going well, and since my father took over, we ended up heavily in debt. That's why we've never been well off since I was a kid. I thought seriously about my future, and it's a decision that I made after careful thought. Even if the business is not exactly stable, I'm sure Julie would understand and support me. At least, that's what I thought. I know it's going to be hard, but I couldn't just put my family aside. Anyway, I'm glad I finally got it out in the open. I'm sure you would understand and... What the hell are you talking about? What? You were seriously thinking about taking over your dad's debt-ridden business? I can't believe you were thinking that! Julie? Oh, what a catastrophe. Let's break up right this minute. What? Why? Seems clear. I was only going out with you because you were at the top of your class and seemed like a guy who was going places. What a huge mistake. Give me back my precious time. Wait a minute. Sure, my family's place isn't doing well, but I'm studying my butt off and... So what? The fact that you're poor and have no future can't be denied, right? For a man, that's a no-win situation. Anyway, if there is no prospect of getting rich, why should I even waste my time with a bookworm like you? And those cheapo presents you gave me? I wasn't really happy with them either. So, that's my answer. Don't ever talk to me again, you got it? I can't believe her! Under those circumstances, we broke up. I went out with her for a whole year, not even realizing her true feelings. I was devastated, but there was nothing I could do. Five years later, maybe I should be getting back home. Mm -hmm. Hey, is that you, Ichi? Hey, Julie. Been a while. It's been a long time. Since the university, I guess, right? As usual, you look so dull that I didn't even recognize you. You seem to have gotten a bit flashier. He noticed! Yes, everything I'm wearing is from a famous brand. I'm on my way to meet my boyfriend. He's a sales rep for a major corporation and buys me anything I want. It's so wonderful. He's one of the elite, a top-level employee. I'm super cute too, so all the guys clamor for my attention. Nobody asked you! I'm so glad that I split up with you. Didn't see you around after that, so I figured you had run off with your tail between your legs. But I see that you somehow survived. Yeah, uh, well... We're on such different levels that it makes me want to laugh. I'm planning on getting married soon. When I get married, I'll invite you to my wedding. During our university days, you wasted so much of my precious time. Make sure you don't penny pinch on your wedding gift. All right then, see ya! You poor little bookworm. Uh, so that's who she really is. It was a while since I'd last seen her, but still, I was taken aback by her holier-than-thou attitude. A few months later, I was surprised to actually get a wedding invitation from Julie. What? Is she kidding? She must be out of her mind! Is she really only after an expensive wedding gift? Gonna go to this thing! Hey, wait a minute. This is... Subsequently, I learned something new and decided to accept the invitation to her wedding. Then, on the day of the wedding, I introduced myself. Hey, loser! Despite being so poor, you really decided to come! Congratulations. Well, all is fine. I got your gifts, so let bygones be bygones. Just sit back and watch with envy. 
there are more people than I expected. I wouldn't want it any other way. My fiancé Satoshi is a super elite! He's got way better education than we ever got. And he's from a good family. And what's more, he works for an IT company. Wow, that's really something. By the way, what kind of business are you in? Oh yeah, sorry. You are too busy paying off your parents' debt and have no time for work, right? <laughs> yeah. Guess it's not much of a job, but... I'm the president of the IT company that your fiancé works at. What? Oh, there you are! Good to see you made it, boss! Hey, Satoshi! Good to see you! What's going on? So, Julie, you guys were friends, huh? I knew you guys were the same age and went to the same school, but never realized you knew each other. Thanks for being so considerate and inviting him. What? As your future wife, it seemed the obvious thing to do. Hey, what's going on here? What do you mean, what's going on? It is what it is. Satoshi is my employee. Actually, I continued my studies and then worked to turn my parents' business around and paid back all the debt. Our business was just too old-fashioned, and my father didn't follow modern business models. I immediately noticed this and studied various fields such as e-commerce, product sales, and so forth. Then we advertised the traditional crafts we produced. The crafts were of high quality to begin with, so we made use of this, which really put us over the top. Eventually, I became interested in net sales and marketing, so I handed over the business reins to my father and I established a new company. How could you? It was really hard at first, but I got a lot of great employees and things started to roll. I suppose it's more of a wedding gift for Satoshi too, in a way. What? Okay, I better get going. Looking forward to the ceremony. Duh. The ceremony went as planned, and everything went smoothly. But right before the reception, Julie called for me. Why'd you call me over so suddenly? You need to get ready or you're gonna be late. I don't care if I'm late! I changed my mind! I realize I still love you! What?! I realize you're a genius! You were able to rebuild your father's business and then establish your own company! That's genius! So, I ask you, please take me away from here! Is her head stuffed with flowers or something? I obviously can't do that. What? Why not? You had so much affection for me back then, so why? I'll be your slave! Please! Take a closer look, would you? I'm already married. What? I already have a wife. I got married to my childhood friend. She works at my company right now. She supports me at work and at home. You can't be serious. That bookworm Michi, already married? No way he would become happier before me! I figured that was why you called me out. Incidentally, does he know that you're cheating on him? What?! As insurance, you seem to be playing around with other guys too. I have no idea what you're talking about! You stop with Unwendo, would you? I'm not making it up. I actually saw you. Remember when we met downtown? Well, I saw you again later that night. Remember when you went into that hotel? What? Then I received the invitation and I saw Satoshi's name and put two and two together. I verified it with Satoshi later at the office, and he said you guys were dating for a little over a year. The time seemed to match, so I confirmed that you were having an affair behind his back. Of course, I was worried for Satoshi, so I told him about it. But he said all the wedding arrangements were already made, and he wanted to believe in you. We both decided to act as if we didn't know and go about business as usual. But then you had to... Please! Don't say a word to Satoshi! I'll never show my face in front of you again! I'm afraid it's too late. Satoshi! Julie... I'm so disappointed. I thought I would let the past slide, but you even tried to seduce Mr. Ichi? My boss?! How could you?! This is more than I can endure! We're finished! This is a complete misunderstanding! Misunderstanding? Do you need some proof? I'm the CEO of this company. It's my duty to protect my employees. I had a private investigator check you out. What?! I want Satoshi to be happy. 
otherwise it will affect his job performance. I got the proof right here. Do you want me to show it to the guests? <sighs> Come on, let's go. We gotta explain this to everyone. No! No way! Please, Ichi! Talk sense into it, please! Sorry. No can do. After all this time of treating me with contempt, it turns out you're the loser. What? Following that, the reception was cancelled, and she had to do all the explaining. I'm sure she was mortified and completely devastated. Of course, Satoshi later terminated the engagement. Further investigation revealed that Julie was also having affairs with other guys. Satoshi demanded compensation. In addition, he took the men who had the affairs to court, demanding that they also take responsibility. Julie? Well, she apparently felt uncomfortable at her workplace, and eventually quit. She's having trouble finding a job. Landing anything locally does not seem likely. I was a bit worried for Satoshi, but he seemed to have bounced back from it all, and put all his energy into his work. I'm going to be like you, boss! And find someone who will support and back me up! That's what I want to hear from my employees. But keep in mind, you are never going to find someone like Mika! Please, would you cut that out? It's embarrassing. Everybody, I hope you will all find the right person. My name is Ichi. I've been physically fragile since I was a kid. I frequently caught colds and ended up skipping school. Ichi, here, take these flowers. Flowers? You've always been frail, and didn't you take a day off the other day because you were sick or something? Figured if you left it in your room, maybe it would cheer you up. Did you go out of your way to buy them for me? No, no. We grow them in our yard. I like growing them and giving them to people. Hope you like them. Really? This is great! Thanks. <laughs> okay, then I'm off to home. Don't go exerting yourself doing housework. See ya! See you tomorrow. We're not exactly well off. Just because I'm frail, I couldn't just ignore my household chores. For that reason, I didn't really do good at school. My grades suffered, and I was often bullied. But Mika, whom I've known since childhood, has always looked after me. But Mika, whom I've known since childhood, has always looked after me. Well, better head home. Household chores await. Hey! Down and outer! That voice. Tsuneo! None other than Tsuneo. He's a rich kid and he never fails to make fun of me, always calling me wimp. Heard you skipped school the other day! And you're carrying flowers? What a wimp! Mika gave me these flowers, and I didn't skip school. Mmm, is that right? Flowers from Mika, huh? Don't be so cheeky, little wimp like you. Wimp? You're not much different. I can't forgive you for secretly flirting with Mika. Gonna make you regret it. Tsunio! What's with that guy? Oh well, guess I should just ignore him. The next day, as I was leaving school, I began to regret ignoring Tsunio's words. School's out. Time to head home. Time to head home. Gotta do the chores when I get back. Take that! Psh! Ow! <laughs> Just like my big brother told me, you're such a wimp! What the hell was that for? I mean, you're... I'm Tsunikichi. Tsunikichi, huh? Wasn't this kid Tsunio's kid brother? Did I do anything to annoy you, kid? No, not really. But my brother said you're poor and a wimp, so I could do anything to you! Can't understand the logic. What? So I'm gonna whip your butt! Ow! Uh, hey! Knock it off! Anyway, where the hell did you get that branch anyway? I snapped it off the tree over by the house! Ugh. You went ahead and just snapped a branch from someone's house? That's not right! I don't give a hoot! Anyway, my dream is to become a famous YouTuber! I mean, if you're a YouTuber, you can do just about anything! Are you out of your mind?! Uh, it's cool to be a badass! All these YouTubers do badass things and then put them on YouTube, right? That's right! I'm gonna do dodgy things and become super famous! Don't say such irresponsible stuff! Only a small percentage of YouTubers do dodgy stuff. Nobody thinks you're cool if you're annoying people. You're not jealous or something, are you? You look like the type that could never do anything dishonest! 
I just don't want to have anything to do with causing trouble for people, that's all. So just leave me be, would ya? What? You're gonna bug out? But Tsunekichi kept coming after me. How much longer is this kid gonna follow me? This guy sure is persistent. What the hell are you eating? The house back uh, Uber left some stuff there, so I treat myself to some. What? Ah, uh, my pizza! Who the hell took my pizza? Looks like the guy found out. Are you the schmucks who swiped my pizza? It wasn't me, mister. This guy here told me to go get it! It wasn't me! This kid... You're really gonna blame it on a kid? What? <laughs> He's getting chewed out! <laughs> In the end, I took the blame, and ultimately had to pay this guy for his loss. Damn. There goes my allowance for this month. Thanks for the treat! Just because you're a kid, there are things that you really shouldn't do. What? Giving up so easily? If you're so ticked off, try something, wimp. Yeah, that's what I thought. I went through and through. <laughs> Don't push your luck, you little brat. I suppose it's immature of me to raise my hand. Better handle this properly. Uh, oh my god. Uh, it's nothing. Oh yeah, I forgot. I have business to take care of. Okay, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Are you thinking of tagging along again? But what was it that irked him? Well, the next day, Tsunekichi kept his word. And from then on, he would ambush me at the park and mess with me in the same manner. But whenever we arrive at a particular sign near my house, he immediately leaves. I was a bit mystified by the kid's strange behavior and continued to ignore Tsunekichi's taunting. Thanks for stopping by. Come on, you're always helping me out. It's the least I could do. Seems kind of rough to be bringing your committee work home with you. No, I don't mind. I love the work. Oh yeah? Okay, if there's anything else, let me know. Guess I'll head home to help Dad with the chores. Hey! A wimp like you dropping in a chick's house, huh? Not you again. My brother tells me you like flowers. So does that mean you like the flowers there too? What a pansy. Those are Mika's precious flowers! <laughs> Take that, you crappy flowers! <laughs> hey! How could you? Serves you right! <laughs> Hold it right there! Catch you if you can! What's going on? <gasps> My flowers! Uh, no, it's not what it looks like! I didn't do this! I know. I know you wouldn't do such a thing. What's going on? I decided to explain everything to Mika. I'm sorry about all this. If I had properly reprimanded the kid, it would have turned out better. Because of my lack of judgment, I ended up causing trouble for you. It's not your fault, Ichi. But if I hadn't been so timid, your precious flowers would not have been destroyed. It's all my fault. I just can't seem to do anything right. Sure, the flowers are ruined, but it's not your fault, Ichi. Anyway, you have a lot of good traits. No way you can't do anything right. Me? Good traits? Well, for one, you're always helping me. Even today, I said I needed some help with my committee stuff, and you came right over. To boot, you're helping out with the household chores. You're kind and considerate. You got plenty of good traits. Do you really think so? You bet. Anyway, those flowers will soon grow back. But if we simply ignore Tsunekishi, there may be trouble ahead. Badass things are cool! Yeah, you're right. He's got the idea that doing badass things is somehow cool. That's not right. Causing trouble for others is not cool. We have to do something to stop the charade. If we can find his weakness... His weakness? Huh? Oh yeah! He always takes off after arriving at that bulletin board near my house. Wasn't there a... That's it! I think I found his weak spot! That's when I started contemplating a scheme. The next day, as I was headed home, Tsunekichi was at the park, ready to ambush me as usual. Hey there, Wimp! Sure had a blast smashing up those flowers yesterday! Wonder what mischief I can create today! <laughs> what hogwash? Huh? I said hogwash. Think you're cool doing stuff like that? Still a kid, I see. I can beat that. Are you making fun? There's nothing I can't do that you can! Are you nuts? Okay, I know a good spot. Are you coming? 
Probably some Bush League stuff. I'll show you I can do some badass things. <laughs> okay, we're here. <sighs> what is this old crappy house? Found it the other day. Seems no one is living here. Do what you want with it. Not scared, are you? Do what I want? Easy for you to say. Scared? Are you nuts? I'm gonna throw this rock at the house and bust that window out. <laughs> oh yeah? Go for it. You think I won't do it, huh? Don't try to stop me! <laughs> ha! You got it now? I can do anything I want! See that whip? <laughs> While Tsunekichi was cheerfully jumping up and down, I proceeded to encourage him. Oh boy, you went ahead and did it! There are rumors that there are ghosts in the house. But you just said that you found this house just the other day. I just made that up. With that little stunt of yours, you've probably been cursed. Did you trick me into this? Don't get so worked up. Were you spooked by my little story? Me? How could I be spooked? If that's the case, let's go inside and do a little more damage. Inside? There? You're not scared, right? Come, let's get inside. Wait one second! This is super spooky and chilly, but the whip went in. I just can't up and run. Where'd he go? He was right in front of me a second ago. Did he get spooked and run off? That's what I thought. That wimp was really a scaredy cat. What the hell was that? Was it coming from here? Meow. Damn cat. That gave me a start. I'm not scared though. Well, looks like the wimp took off. I may as well get out of here. Was you? Smash that window. Ah, I'm sorry. Is he gone? I guess he's really scared of ghosts and ghouls, huh? He always turned back at that bulletin board, so I thought it a bit strange. He must have been avoiding that horror poster there. Looks like it worked. That ghost was actually Mika in disguise. The makeup was really realistic. Although I knew it was Mika, it still scared me a bit. Thanks for helping me out. No problem. I didn't realize your family owned this dilapidated house. Yeah, my dad had it for a while, but it's going to be torn down next month. Glad it was right before that. Okay then, let's get to the finishing touches. A few days later... Hey Whip! What the hell is this? The image on Tsunekichi's mobile phone showed something peculiar. The title of the video read, I used a scare tactic to spook a DQN school brat. The kid in this video is me, right? Everyone at school has seen this and now I'm the laughing stock of my classmates! You wanted to be famous, right? Well, you got your wish. Congratulations! This ain't right! I don't want to get famous like this! Delete this right away, please! Before I do that, you got something to say? Mm. What's the matter? If you don't apologize, I'm not gonna delete the video. You want that? Please! I will never again make fun of you, so please! Delete this video! I guess he learned his lesson. May as well forgive him. I immediately deleted the video, but it seems Tsunekichi's wild antics spread throughout the school, eventually reaching the parents. The brothers had to go around apologizing for all the mischief they caused others. Sorry! Sorry please, please forgive, forgive us! us. <laughs> From then on, the two brothers never again approached me or tried any hanky-panky with me. Okay. This will do just fine. Yep, finished planting all those seeds that the brothers gave me as compensation. You can expect to see some beautiful flowers soon. Then can I come over and help? I mean, I kinda got you into this mess. Don't worry, you don't have to feel so responsible. I don't want to be irresponsible, you know? I want to be of some help. If you insist, okay. Then, after about six months, Gerbera flowers began to bloom. Tsunekichi said being a badass was cool, but I don't think so. Being kind to others is much better. People tend to follow you when you're kind and considerate. So I concluded that I want to be the kind of person who would reach out to people in need. There are people like that, don't you think? You know, doing something that others wouldn't do and that's kind of cool and not even feeling bad about it. Just do something badass and then it's like, man, I'm super cool. You even see this kind of thing on TV sometimes. I just say, are you for real? Anyways, that's what I think. Uh -huh. 
Whoa, he's so scary. Isn't that the popular rebel group leader from another school? Yep, our leader's the strongest. No one can beat Shishida. You're so right. Besides, he's never lost a fight in his life. No, it, it's not like that. This isn't what it looks like. Starting today, I'm going to live a normal life. A few months later... Ha! It's just like the rumors. Just as expected from a school with the most fights per day. Everyone's giving us dirty looks. That's fine. That's why I enrolled in this school for. I'm gonna fight anyone that wants to give me crap. I'm gonna be top dog around this place soon. Whoa, you're so cool, Ishia Tama-san. I heard there are weird students here, though. What? Like that guy. Ha! Who is that? He needs to be beat. He's gonna get beat up right away looking like that. Hmm. My name is Katsuya Shishida. I've completed one of my long-time goals, to enroll in high school. Because I looked scary, I was always surrounded by troublemakers. For that reason alone, no one would be my friend. I'd given up on continuing my education because my grades were really bad. But miraculously, there was one school whose average GPA was so low that they allowed me to enroll. We can see that just by looking at those test problems and answers. But that didn't matter anymore. Starting today, I was going to study hard. Hey! What are you, a freshman? <laughs> we found ourselves an errand boy. Think of yourself as lucky, Four Eyes. After all, Torao-san is talking to you. Huh? Dude, let me borrow you for a second. Yeah! Starting today, I was going to be a good student. Yet... Ugh. What is this? Shingeki no Mika? How do you write that again? Is there even a kanji for that? It wasn't like I was going to immediately be a smart student. This is how you write that kanji. Huh? Oh, uh, my name's Hiroshi. I sit next to you. He's talking to me. M me? I, I, I mean, uh, my name is Katsuya. Uh, my hobbies include uh, reading the dictionary. <laughs> You're funny, Katsuya-kun. Hiroshi! Oh, hey, Tedeo! I can't do it anymore. Everyone looks so scary and they're, they're all troublemakers. <laughs> okay, calm down. Also, you're being too loud. Uh. Oh, let me introduce you to. This is Terio. He's been my friend since we were little kids. What? You already made a friend? A bad boy? Doesn't look like it. Um, my name is Katsuya. Would you look at that? They're normal people at this school. That means I can make friends too. Let's be friends, Katsun. Katsun? Hey! Now we have three people in our group! Alright, you two listen carefully. All of our other classmates are scary, and you have to watch out for them. We'll move together as a group from now on, even when we go to the toilet! Don't leave me behind, okay? <laughs> Got it. Uh -huh. Just as I thought, Hiroshi-kun was a smart kid. The only reason he enrolled in this school was so that Terio-kun wouldn't end up alone. Apparently, he could have gone to a college prep school if he wanted to. That was the reason. That's the true meaning of friendship. Yup, and oh, she's always been the nicest guy I know. You guys are exaggerating. Plus, even if our classmates look scary, I'm sure that we can easily make friends if you make the effort to talk to people. <laughs> okay, dude, uh, you're a good person. <laughs> oh, uh... That, that wasn't what you think it is! <laughs> it's not the... Uh... <laughs> you really are funny, Katsuya. Katsuya, you're 
not a bad boy, are you? Right? Uh, n no, uh, of course not. It's okay, you can talk to us. You can say whatever you want. Right. Yeah, he's right. If we're all friends, we should talk to each other about anything. <laughs> yeah, thanks. From that day, the three of us became close and even hung out after school. This is paradise. It wasn't much, but I thought I was having a fun high school experience. Those days didn't last long. One day during lunch break, I was looking for Tereo. Tereo? Hmm, I wonder where he went. Oh, it's him. Come on, fatty. Go and buy us your lunch already. Your treat. <laughs> <laughs> Tereo! Hudson! What are you doing up? Uh, let's go back. What? Uh, um, okay. Huh? Hold on there, dude. Are you blind? Come on, Tedio. You know she's waiting for you. I'm starving, too. Dude, you don't have the right to ignore me, Four Eyes. <laughs> He's stupid. Maybe his glasses aren't strong enough. <laughs> You're in front of the great Ishiyatama son. Give him some respect. Tedeo, you can head back to the classroom. What? But, but... I'll catch up with you soon, okay? <laughs> Phew, you think you're so cool. Who do you think you are? I'm not letting you get away that easily. Hey, why don't we try resolving this by communicating? What? We might be able to be friends if we talk it out, right? <laughs> Are you serious? You're funny, aren't you? All right, we can be friends. Oh, your clothes are all dirty. Are you too scared to talk now? Yeah, dude. Do you understand who you are now? No, we, we, we shouldn't do this. We should talk it out. Come on. Is something wrong with your brain? Forget it! This is stupid! It's your Thomas-san! Hey, you! With the glasses! Go on and call that fatty back here. Hmm, I, I, I don't think I could do that. Is that so? Then we should shut you up already. Katsuya! Are you okay? <coughs> Katsu! I'm sorry! You two! We all apologize sincerely. We didn't mean any harm. Will you please forgive us? Whoa. He's so polite with his words. Is this how you talk things out? I'm glad. Hiroshi should be able to talk it out with them. No! What? H Hiroshi? Honestly, who do you guys think you're talking to? You all have some attitude, don't you? Power means everything in this school. You weak losers shouldn't be talking back to us. You guys are all dead. Ishiyatama-san's punch is the most powerful. No wonder he's the leader. Do you see what I'm saying, Four Eyes? This is why I'm saying you're boring. If you understand, you want to try punching me, huh? I can even teach you how to fight. I mean, even if you try to punch me, you'll be the one in pain. <laughs> Huh? I'm over this. K Katsu? All of you can come at me if you want. I'm warning you that I won't hold back, whether you're a girl or not. It it's your sama son! You're kidding! What just happened? It, it was obviously just luck! It's Tarao, the senior! Well, didn't he become the leader this year? But, he looks like he's injured. There's no one that can win against him. He sent us to the hospital on the first day of school. What? what? Dude, you're the previous leader of the Shingeki Middle School. Katsuya Shishida, aren't you? What? Who, who's that? I heard rumors about it. It's, it's a middle school in the countryside. But their leader was super strong. He's, he's never lost a fight in his life. 
I would have never thought that Shishida, the King of Beasts, went to our school! K Katsune, is that true? Yeah, I'm sorry I lied to you. I'm actually the type of guy that you guys don't like. I wasn't a people person to begin with, but to add to that, I looked scary as well. Because of that, I was always surrounded by troublemakers. I was stronger than a normal person, and when I defended myself from people that attacked me, I started to be called the gang leader of the school. I thought it was self-defense, but people didn't think that way. I didn't want to live life as a bad student, though. All I wanted was to make memories with friends. That's why I chose to enroll in this school, even if it was far away from home. When I met Hiroshi and Tereo, it was like my dream come true. It was a short-lived dream. Oh, we're so sorry! What? You think I'm just gonna accept your apology? Suck it up! <laughs> Katsuya! You can't. Hiroshi, uh, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So try to calm down. But... You're going to live a normal and proper life, right? <laughs> Okay. We, we, we won't ever come near you again! Ishiyatama dropped out of school after that. His gang members were so scared they stopped showing up to school as well. As for me... Shishida, come on! Be our school's gang leader! All the seniors want you to! Come on, please! No thanks, I don't fight anymore. Why not? If we work together, we'll win against all the other high schools. I don't need to fight with anyone anymore because... Hiroshi! Thanks for waiting! Let's go home! Yep! Where should we go today? Katsuya? What? I didn't need to fight. I, uh... I want to try going to the arcade. Because I already had the friendship I've always wanted. <laughs> Listen here, Katsun. I might be bad at fighting, but at games, I'm invincible! Let's go! I can take you on any time! My name is Mika. I'm a fortune teller. Humans are so weak and greedy. I can see there's another human. Not aware of what will happen to him. Yasuo, I heard you got dumped again. You never learn, huh? Shut up, man. Remember the last time we were out? That girl was totally avoiding you. And I asked her out on a date too fast. It, it might have scared her a little. No wonder you never had a girlfriend. My name is Yasuo Mote. The fact that I have never had a girlfriend troubles me very much. I don't know how to talk to them. Apparently, I creep them out, and they start to avoid me. Ah, uh, I just wish I could talk like a normal person. Then I'd be able to get a girlfriend. Man, your friend is harsh. Tell me about it. I don't think you can deny it, though. What? How are you supposed to date a girl if you can't even talk to one? I yeah, but I just don't know what to do or how to talk to them. How about you try this? A rental girlfriend? My friends said they're useful to practice talking to girls. I see. Why don't you just try it? I get what he's saying, but I don't know. It was kind of sketchy. Oh, this girl, Yui, she's cute. Hmm. I guess I could try it out. And so I decided to order a rental girlfriend. The day of the date. Are you Yasuo Mote? Uh, yeah. Hi, my name is Yui. I'm so happy you finally get to me. She's too cute. I I it's nice to meet you. Let's go. We have a lot planned. Uh huh. Uh -oh, okay. This was my first date with anyone. Yui was smooth and eased me in. It was fun talking to her. I didn't think it should be this easy. I feel so stupid for being so scared. Oh, our time's almost up. 
What? Already? Yeah, we had three hours booked, remember? Well, yeah, but... What's wrong? Dewey, will you go out with me? I mean, as my real girlfriend? Uh, yeah, I get that a lot. This is just my job. I don't date my customers in real life. Oh, come on, please. I never dated a girl. Today was so much fun. I, I don't want to lose you. There's nothing I can do. Please, I would have so much more confidence if you were by my side. Uh, fine. How about this? If you're so desperate, how about you spend a month's worth of your pay on me? I can teach you how to date girls. Like a coach? Exactly! If you want to date girls, you gotta understand them. If you want to understand girls, what better way than to learn from one? I'll teach you all you need to know. What do you think? Yes, yes, thank you! And so, my training with Yui started. In a conversation with a woman, you need to listen, support her, and show you care by nodding for starters. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Okay, nodding there makes no sense. Oh. And don't touch so much. Ouch! Girls don't like it when you touch them too much or you make dirty jokes. Yes, ma'am! Yui continued to teach me how to treat women and I was beginning to build my confidence. A few weeks later... You've become a lot easier to talk to these days, Yasuo. Really? Yes! My hard work's paid off! You wanna go out sometime? D do you mean... Let's go on a date. Keep Sunday open for me. My first real date! Of course, I'll keep it open. Excuse me, is Yasuo Mote here? Uh, that would be me. Um, there's something I need to tell you. Can you come with me? This could this be... Confession? Of course! Really? Will you take me on a date on Sunday? I would love to. Sunday, Monday, any day. Sunday. Am I forgetting something? I'm so happy! I can't wait! Me neither. Oh well, never mind. Sunday! What kind of movies do you usually watch? Mm, I usually like sci-fi. Yasuo, did you forget about our date? Oh gosh, I forgot I had a date with Miss Sato! Yasuo? Sorry, just a second, I need to reply to this text! <laughs> hmm. You left me hanging for another girl? How does she know? There's no way I would do that! Yeah, well I know you're lying. I've been watching you. What? So you think you can blow me off for this girl? No, 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 this is just a... Yasuo, you're dating other people too? No, no, this is a mistake, a, a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? You said you would keep Sunday open. You said you wanted to date me. You, you think, think you, you can, can screw, screw with, with us? us? I'm so sorry. By the next day, the word had spread that I was a two-timing prick. Oh my gosh, he's that guy, isn't he? Can you believe he tried to date two girls at once? Damn it! My reputation in college was ruined. It was worse than when I was known as the creepy guy. I need you as help. She replied! She replied. I'm sorry you betrayed your girlfriend like that. There's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is teach you how to treat girls. You should really start thinking of ways to gain your trust back. No, I... I need to see her again. Wait, I... I spent so much on her, I don't... I don't have much money left. I, I have no choice. I need to rent a girl. It isn't so expensive. The ra Ranking isn't high, but she's pretty cute. Hey, this one looks nice. yo -chan, I picked you! Huh? Yo-chan? Are you Yasuo? Yes, I... Uh. Him. Hi, I'm Yo-chan. I hope we can have fun today. What the? She looks nothing like her picture. Hey, uh, I forgot I had plans. Can we cancel? 
No, you can't cancel on the day of the day. What? Yasuo, you are so handsome. I'm never letting go. I'm dead. Humans are so greedy and weak. He just wanted all the girls' attention, and he couldn't see what was actually important when dating girls. Let's go somewhere I want you to take me. Let's go. <sighs> it's already noon. My name is Keichi Hota. As you can see, I'm an introvert with no job. I did have a job before, but a certain incident at work got me in trouble, and I had to quit. Now I spend my days doing nothing and being lazy at home. Uh, good morning. Good morning? You just woke up? Jeez, you just spend your days doing nothing every day. Hurry up and find a new job. If I could find one so easily, I wouldn't be struggling. If you have nothing better to do, go to the station and run some errands. My parents let me live in their house. But I knew they didn't think well of me. Thank you. Why did she want all the heavy stuff? Does she think I'm her servant? Oh well, maybe I'll stop by to buy the new game that just came out. Hmm? Little girl, you shouldn't stand in front of the shop window like that. But I really want that cake! So I'm saying, if you don't have money, you should go home and get some. What's up with that? Well, I guess it has nothing to do with me. Wow! I have to buy the cake! It has to be today! Ugh. Oh, come on. Are you listening to me? I can't do anything for you. Ma'am, she's crying. Don't be too harsh on her. But she's in my way. She wants the cake, right? She keeps saying that she has to buy that cake, but she doesn't have enough money. Well, I guess it is a lot of money for a small child. I don't have much money on me right now either, but... I guess I can use it on something other than that new game that I'll probably just get sick of anyway. Ma'am, I'll pay for this cake, so please give it to her. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir! Don't run, okay? If you fall and drop your cake, then it'll have all been for nothing. Okay. For some reason at that moment, I felt like I was emotionally saved. However, a few weeks after that... Ugh! I should have just bought that new game! I want to play it! Ah, shit! Why did I buy that kid that cake? I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna go buy that game! I'll just sell one of the games I don't want anymore! Ugh, I shouldn't have acted cool that time. Sir! Huh? Mitsuki, it's him I was talking about. You are... This man brought me the cake! Oh, so you're the kind man who helped my sister. Thank you very much. I'll pay you back the money. You don't have to. I will give him back the money. You're gonna give it back? But you don't have enough money, right? Mm. Gosh. No, no. If your little sister insists on paying it back herself, I don't mind waiting until she has enough money. I'm so sorry. You've already caused you so much trouble. No, it's no biggie. Goodbye, my new game. Oh, aren't you... Keiichi from Shingeki High School? What? Y yes I am, but... You are? It's me, Satsuki Kawakubo! You don't remember me? Kawakubo? Ugh! Remember me now? Uh, I didn't notice. You look so different. You were flashier and stood out more in high school. Satsuki was an extrovert popular girl back in high school. As an introverted nerd, I tried to avoid her. I guess I toned down as I raised my younger sister. I see. 
The way she talks also changed. And she also lost some weight. You haven't changed at all, Keiichi. I knew it was you right away. Well, of course. I haven't grown at all mentally since high school. But I'm glad I was able to reunite with you, Keiichi. I thought I'd never see anyone from high school ever again. What? Of course you'll have an opportunity to meet everyone. Like class reunions? Yeah, I guess. Well, I don't live a proper life right now. So I don't think I'll be participating in any class reunion, though. A proper life? I'm not working right now. I quit the company I was working at after I graduated university. And I couldn't find a new job after that. Is that so? I'm really living a depressing life. I'm sure that's not true. As long as you continue living, I'm sure you'll get a new chance. R right I hope so. Hey, let's go out to hang out together. What? Now? Yeah, of course. As long as it's not a bother for you. Of course it isn't! I'll go! I'll come too! Right, of course. After that, Satsuki and I went out together every now and then. At first, Mitsuki came along with us. But in time, we started going out with just the two of us. This continues. Maybe we'll start dating. I continued living my life without a job. And yet, my mind was full of such easygoing thoughts. However, one day after half a year passed, Satsuki suddenly told me she wanted to stop seeing me. Keiji, today will be the last day I will meet you. What? Goodbye. Well, I know we weren't dating each other to begin with, but... I was shocked. But of course, I don't even have a job. I couldn't stop Satsuki as she hurried away from me. And then half a year later, I still didn't have a job and spent my days at home being lazy. Hmm? From Mitsuki. It was a message from Mitsuki saying she finally saved enough money for the cake, and that she wanted to give it back to me. Keiichi! Ah! Uh, this way! Your sister's not with you today? What's wrong? She's not here anymore. What? She died two months ago. She had been ill for a while. Are you serious? I also brought a letter from her to you, so I want you to read it. A letter? Why? In that letter, Satsuki wrote that she was told that she only had a little more time left to live. And that she wouldn't be here in this world by the time I read the letter. Back in high school you used to avoid me, but I know you were kind and considerate towards everyone else. I was only able to watch you from afar. Would things have been different if I talked to you more back then? Because I reunited with you, we were able to talk to each other all the time. Because we couldn't talk in high school, it made me really happy. Keiichi, I hope you continue living on for me too. Even through hardships, don't ever give up. I know you will find a chance. I will watch you from heaven. Satsuki Kawakubo No way. But she looks so healthy. The truth is, that day, I thought it might be Satsuki's last birthday. That's why I wanted to buy that cake. What the hell am I doing? She thought about me this much. That day, Satsuki looked so happy when she talked to you. She always looked worn out from being hospitalized, but after she met you, she often told me that she was able to do things she couldn't back in high school. Ugh. <sighs> Ugh. I had basically given up on life, but Satsuki was going through an even harder experience, and yet she was trying to comfort me, but I just continued living lazily without a job, unable to notice such an important thing. What were you even doing for three whole years? You don't even have any specific skills. We aren't so desperate to be hiring anyone, you know? Yes. I understand that very well. After that, I realized the mistakes I made in life and decided to try finding a job again. 
Three years of doing nothing were hitting me harder than I expected. Thinking I should have another plan for when I was unable to find a job, I started studying for a degree in order to get a specific skill. However, I failed again. Satsuki, I don't think I can do this. As long as you continue living, I'm sure you'll get a new chance. That's right. She probably wanted to live. More than me! And yet, I shouldn't be giving up over something like this! It's rude to her! Two years passed after that. Hang on! This isn't a mistake, is it? Yes! I did it! I really did it! Satsuki, are you watching from heaven? I finally got my first chance! So, you got a degree in accounting, huh? Yes, I was somehow able to this year. It'll be difficult to hire you as a full-time employee from the beginning. But how about you start as a contract employee? Yes, sir! Thank you so much! Minsky! Katie! Satsuki, I think I can finally share some good news. It might be cheeky for me to say this, but... I will learn from the mistakes of my past, and continue living on the best I can. For you, too. So, please continue watching me from above, until the day I join you.